got a feeling I deserve it. Now I'm only moving with a purpose. The people showing love, but I ain't broken through the service. Hey, never had a chance, wasn't no name. All season started working on my post game. Now I seen your readers at the phone when they alone. I break them off and send a home. Got a game with no change. Saying I'm a flop, that's an insult. Chill. Rolling up a J. Hey, welcome back, piece. everybody. This is we're all in podcast. I'm like that. Big country. I want to get right into this. Uh, we're going to sort of start off with. We had some breaking news over the last hour, two hours. Um, as it started off, we will be having a Major League Baseball season. And I don't know if John's really all that pumped about it, but me and Mooney are pretty ecstatic. That pretty baseball, excited about this. The baseball is going baseball to be in our is summer. Back. And it is. It is what we want. It's what we've been wanting. It's what we've been begging for. So, oh, yeah. hey, begging for it. I need it. I gotta have it. I, I don't know about you, John, but going to Reds games are just a, an absolute blast. Tell you, you something. Some you ever been to a, a you ever been to a major league baseball game ever? No, dude. Oh. Dude, I'm telling you right now. Even if you're not a huge baseball fan, just to go and experience the game day, the field, the crowd, just the park, being out there in the summertime, dude. It's unlike anything. I'm not kidding you. It really is. They cater to their fans. They they keep the fans so entertained, so involved. Like every every timeout commercial break, they're giving something free away. Yep. They're doing races in the infield. They're doing all kinds of crazy stuff. There's all kinds of shit for the kids, especially with kids. And then on on TV, you don't see the walk up songs. About every batter has a walk up song. Yep. So you actually like, well, I never knew they did this. They all had. You know different hit songs that they like or whatever, and they have walk up song, batter songs. So, um, so let's get a little bit into this. So, we do. Hold know- on a second, John. Today's a big day today. Do you know why it's a big and special day today? Happy thirty eighth birthday, Mike. Oh, oh my gosh, 38. <laughs> I'm thirty five. <laughs> oh, oh man, it's somebody's birthday today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> big old my gosh over here oh. turning the big three five today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoever watches the show and you gave me a birthday wish, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel any. I don't feel any younger. I just got older. Yeah, well, that's yeah. what happens, buddy. Uh, and uglier. Must <laughs> <laughs> that make you guys? I'm the best looking one at the table. You guys are some ugly motherfuckers. Not today. You know, you aged. <laughs> <laughs> we done aged into what we turned oh, into already, so we're good. We're his setting. birthday's coming up. I hate. I don't know. We'll deal with it when Mine it does. Ain't. His is in like November or something. Yeah, that's months it? away. Months away. Oh, mine will be first before yours. Yeah, old man. I know. Pushing fifty. Yeah, yours in September. The older the bowl, the stiffer the horn. Black of the berry, the sweeter the juice. What, the what they say? <laughs> that's what they say. <laughs> Anyways, all right, we, we got, got that out. Black in the motherfucker too. <laughs> <laughs> So hey, Jenny, got, Miss Jenny wants to know, is that why um, you dress fly today? Dang, dress and fly. It's just for Mike's birthday. Yeah, fly. Oh, yeah. Fly. They got fly. date tonight. For yeah, what? I was the trivia winner. Hey, we have winner. dates tomorrow. I was the trivia winner. So. <laughs> He's like, wait, we, we got dates tomorrow. We do. <laughs> oh, that's right. We're all going out to yeah. watch the new Batman, get yeah. some wings and rings. You know, Mike's going out and getting hammered if anybody wants to follow him and buy him shots. I never. And beer. <laughs> Lots of, well, he doesn't do shots, but beer. beer. Buy him beers. Yeah, get him messed up. You only turned 35 once. Yeah, and I, I, I've done plenty of drinking for my lifetime, and summer's oh, right around the corner. I'll be drunk about every other day. See, you act like you're an old man. <laughs> and when my kids are gone in the summer, I'm you know me, Mooney. I like to drink. Your kids are gone this weekend, so I mean, it's, it's perfect time. It's, yeah. it's cold this weekend. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah, and the golf cart's, the golf cart's about. I shined up the wheels over the, over the week. We Got new nice spinners day. on it, 22-inch spinners. <laughs> <laughs> now I do want to get a pair of them airless airless tires that they put on motors. Oh yeah, like on your they showed you on Facebook. Yeah, oh, I've always known they had them. They, they look pretty cool. Yeah, you know, John has them on. He has them on his mower. Are you for real? Mm-hmm. They come on John Deere. John Deere is one of the pr- ones who pushed it to mowers. Michelin is the one who technically created them, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Michelin was. Um, but John Deere stuck them on their mowers real Dude, fast. Cool as fuck. And what oh, I'm okay. curious about is. Post on something. I think Jenny actually was the one said. I, maybe it wasn't Jenny. Or somebody else said. I wonder how long does the tread last, though. No, it was my friend Justine. I said, how long will the tread last? Is it like a regular tire? Or yeah, is it's, it it's, a regular, it's, a, it's a regular tread on the tire. They might last a little longer because the wheels give. That's what I'm saying. That's what she was wondering. So you, why, how long the tread would last? Yeah, I know they come with a three year warranty. Yeah, I know on on all the golf carts at work or at tank plant they all have them airless tires every about every golf cart there has airless tires on it and i've always said they're sweet 
and I've always wanted them, and I've been trying to tell my stepdad to. He, they throw them away out there. When the tread goes bad, they throw them away. Are it's, they, they more expensive the than regular tires? Oh, yeah. Oh, Are they? Yeah. For my two on my mowers, almost a 1000 bucks. Yeah. I'd probably have 3500 and putting them on my car. You got 18s on the back of that mower, ain't they? 20s? Something like that. Yeah. No, they they 10s, but they clean up nice. Yeah, it, it makes the most. I just I like the look. You got to watch Friday. God, he doesn't get the reference. He doesn't get anything. God, he's, he's more feeding, movies. His feet and his face full of foot of, of, of you know, <laughs> fruity fruities. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on it. Okay, it's, okay, let's, let's get, get into this, with this sports the CBA. Stuff. So what we do know is we're gonna have baseball. I believe opening day is April seventh. If I read that correctly, I believe what I um, read. What I read, yeah. What we do Dennis know, that's a better ride too. Who? Dennis. Oh, it is a lot better ride. It rides a lot smoother. My stepdad tried to tell me it was a rougher ride, and then he rode in one. I was like, oh, no, I'd like to have these at all times. It's a lot because you don't feel the bumps. You go over everything. It molds to everything. That's that's it for today's episode of uh, Tiger. <laughs> yeah, that's it. We're not going to talk about tires and rims no more. You know? okay, it's a nice show. Yeah. <laughs> got tires in. Yeah. But, uh, Wish Mike a happy birthday and talked about tires. That's I know good. Dennis Dennis show. obviously is watching. He doesn't follow um, baseball anymore because of the Indians changing their name to the Guardians. Why did you have to bring it up? See, I wasn't ready to deal with it yet. It was in the back of my mind. I didn't want to say it out loud. I was excited for the season. And then you had to say Cleveland Guardians. Dude, I'm so excited like, when I, the Cowboys play the Commanders. I literally get to say, kill the commies. Beat the commies. Just think about it once. Oh, my mia. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you guys are going to go in to play the Red Legs as the Guardians. So it, sounds like a, it sounds like so, a Marvel So character. when we win at home, we could say we're the, we're the Guardians of our galaxy? Yeah, stop. I did it for you. That was too much, man. I know, I know. So you can't lose at home, or that takes away the Guardians' name. Right, so every, we have to win at home to be the Guardians <laughs> of our galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so, so. So Dennis still follows it closetly. Closetly follows baseball. He's gonna say he doesn't. I think but do not did. play that guy in fantasy NASCAR. First year I've ever done fantasy NASCAR. I think he. I think Dennis cheats. He I think cheats. he just knows NASCAR. No, he cheats. Uh, I'm pretty he, sure. He no, he cheats. It. How do you cheat? You cheat. I don't know how he cheats. He cheats. He never loses. This is their third year doing it. He still has gotten. He still hasn't gotten beat, and he blows everybody out. He always seems to pick the right drivers. He Cause, cheats. Because I think he knows NASCAR. He cheats. Yep. Oh, Isaac, call in and say he cheats. <laughs> this, is, this guy, this guy, he loses and he's like, whole world's got to be cheating. If I can't win, no, I'm not. No, no, that's I'm not. Cheating. I just, that's what Isaac told me. Guys should listen to him play Call of Duty. It's bad. No. Bad deal. Tim's no, bad. No, Tim's, Tim's bad. bad. <laughs> Tim is bad. Everybody bad is, too. everybody bad. is an aimbot for Tim. He'll go 14 and 2, and you won't hear nothing. He'll be talking all kinds of shit. Next thing you know, he's on a 14 and 12 run. He's like, This is stupid. This, they're literally behind me as soon as I spawn. They're right behind me. And then he'll die again. He'll be like, This, I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit. <laughs> and then I'm down. Go, and then he'll go, <laughs> I'm down. That was Battlefield. I'm down. Somebody down. help me constantly. Anyway, we're, we got sports to talk about. Yeah. Baseball. <laughs> um. I'm so, so, so what well, we do know so something in these tootsie rolls. <laughs> so it's not tootsie roll. I'll never do that again. Sorry, <laughs> these foot footy. <laughs> footy, <laughs> footy, footy rolls. What is that? A footy roll. It's a fruity. Man, I changed it to footy. Dennis says, "Laugh my fucking ass off, going for three in a row." <laughs> Oh, yeah? You got to rub it in. I suck at it. Okay, I'm horrible at this NASCAR fantasy thing. I'm absolutely trash at it. You mean like Madden? Oh. No, it's like. <laughs> oh. Bro, you try to play. You try to play with the team that I'm playing with, Mister. You you, you're you're the new Mooney. Goes, you loaded me. your team. You Mooney, oh. you Mooney mm. Junior. Yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> I brought. He talked so much people. shit about me, and he was like, "Oh, you gotta load your team, win. It ain't no fun." And he goes out, and he's like, "Here, I just." Gave away all my fucking draft picks for players. He has a seventh round draft pick in 2023. Yeah, he has one seventh round draft pick. Yeah, that's right. I traded for two corners. How is that stacked? In line. No. And a tight end. And a tight end named Mark Andrews, who's probably one of the best. Oh, in yeah, the you're game. just going to leave oh, yeah, a good one down. Huh? You're like, I know. <laughs> I know. I didn't say that, guys. I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> Fucking yeah! What did what did Dennis say on there? What he's have to come back and say? <laughs> I won football fantasy too. Oh, so he's doing that too, huh? Good thing he didn't play you. You would have lost. 
He, he was in there. I was in the league with him. Oh, that one? I thought you were going to go Harley. Harley. No, Harley. no, 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 no. <laughs> see? See? He laughs and he's no, got you something mean, to say. You, you, want me go out, you want me to go out and get the trophy right now? Oh, God. I'll go get it. Well, apparently he's got a trophy he doesn't the league that you're in. No, I was screwed because you can ask him. He's on there right now. Dennis, we had to play the same person two weeks in a row. Yeah. Because Isaac didn't change the, the championship. I was ahead of Isaac after week one. Well, you beat him twice in a row then. That's bullshit. Oh. Dennis was losing after the first week, and he come back and won. Are we going to talk about anything on the podcast today at all? Bullshit. Dennis, see what you got started, Dennis. And I'm not talking about LeBron James today either. Actually, we are. We're going to have a little yeah, He's the, He's the greatest basketball player there's ever been. Yep. So, LeBron hey, James. Hey, do you guys know there's only three players in the history of the NBA that have three rings, three finals, and three MVPs? I don't think, wait, wait, hold on. Three, I don't think we'll ever have a oh. podcast that LeBron James is not brought up. Last or, week or Brock Lesnar, or Brock, right. or Brock Lesnar. Wait, yeah, repeat He's that again. Right repeat that question again. Sure, where yeah. Repeat that question. Hold on, let me go back here. Let me let me read it correctly to you, so I'm not misconstruing information. Well, I'm pretty sure you hey, said Drew said he won fantasy his very first year. So LeBron is one of only three players. Uh huh. Magic Johnson, LeBron James, oh, Michael damn, dude, Jordan. Why? I was gonna try and guess him. You didn't even give me a fucking chance. I didn't say that. I, oh. That's why I was trying to have you repeat three, the question. Three yeah, rings, Brock three, <laughs> three <laughs> rings, three MVPs, and three Finals MVPs. Mm -hmm. Only, only three people's ever done that, and he's one of them. <clears throat> yeah, he's not to go ever. Anyways, what we want to talk about here is Major League Baseball. We know it's going <laughs> to start on April seventh. We're all pumped. We know at six o'clock tonight they went in to hey. ratify. Dennis said he, yes, he was mad how it was set up, too, because uh, he beat Isaac Kane first week, then he almost beat him, beat me. Laugh my ass off. I don't know what that means. What did he say again? Say that again. Slower with nothing in your mouth. <laughs> That's not like him. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, I wasn't. I was mad how it was set up, too, because I beat Isaac Kane first week, then he almost beat me. Oh yeah, that's how it was. I said it backwards. Okay, yeah, because he was yeah because he was winning and I won after week one. He was up after week one, but we had to play him week two. Isaac almost come back to beat him, and then I got beat by the other Isaac. Jenny said Kobe's forever her number one. Oh, well, everybody has a right to an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, so we're, we're talking. Okay, can we get to this subject yeah, here? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so what we know is it's starting the seventh. Okay, and at six o'clock tonight, they went in to ratify the CBA. When okay? I go to do baseball and I go to pull anything for TikTok, I'm gonna have to do it in fucking segments. Cause yeah. cause <laughs> he starts talking about that we go You're doing it up. again. I know. <laughs> uh, anyways, so what we do know is they're ratifying it as of we as as we speak. So once it's set, once the, once it's ratified, free agency can begin at that very moment, the very next second. So we're going to have a wild three weeks because a lot of these people are going to have to get signed, get to camp, get ready, get going because they got three weeks before the season opener. Um, what we also know is... I pulled out a handful of tutu rolls uh, and they're all rappers. I didn't put them in there. My rappers. No, him. Oh. Out of his. He's put all the rappers oh. in the tutu rolls. Oh, so we, what we do know is Universal DH is is in effect this year. So yeah, it will next be year. This year. I thought it was next year. No, it's this year. Universal DH is t starting April 7th. We have a Universal DH. Um, oh, pitch really? clock. Pitch clock. Is not this year. Is not this year. That's 23. And um, that's the one I got messed up. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> The shift? The shift. They yeah. banned the shift. So that's both yeah. going to be the 20, that's gonna 2023. Be okay. Um, but we do get an expanded playoffs, which yeah, we is get 12 teams. 12 teams which now. Is, I've been, I think they should go 14. The owner, They said the owners wanted 14, but it got Isn't declined. Isn't the NFL pushing for that, too? No, they already got well, the Well, we already got the expansion. I thought they were expanding more, I guess. They've I talked not. about doing more, but that's down the road. They wanted to see how they did with adding the, the ones they got in so far. No, college football needs to expand. Fuck yeah, it does. Let's not even get on that right um, now. We should get on that. Um, so, <laughs> well, and Jenny goes, God, candy, sweetest gold. Let me see that Tootsie Roll. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> huh. <laughs> I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> um, so, 
that's all we really want to cover on baseball. We don't really have no free agents yet. No, um, but it's about to get it's crazy about tonight. To get crazy. This weekend is going to be crazy. Between By morning, you're probably going to wake up to lots of Bleacher Report, ESPN, whoever you go by um, with alerts. Find out, but, if my, find out if my boy Soto leaves or not. Hoping he does. I'm hoping Freddie Freeman comes over to Cincy. <laughs> DH is in. Pavado, DH, Freddie Freeman at first. Oh, damn. What is Freeman? What is he, 33? Yeah. No, 30, mm. 31. <clears throat> Pretty sure he's like 33. Mm. Google it. No, no. Bado's 37. He might be close to that, actually. Bado's 37. Freeman's, I thought he's only like 30, 31 years old. 32. He'll oh. be 33 this September. Oh, so we both were pretty close. I mean, I was pretty much more right than you, but that's fine. What? All right. Anyways. But, no, um, you want Freeman. Can you guys afford him? Any, I mean, even at 32 years old, want. he's going <laughs> to. You can afford whatever you want. I mean, <laughs> you there is no salary cap. It's just all about what the Reds want to pay. It's all about can the Reds pay. Why can't they? They sell out every home game. If you tell me they can't, you tell me when they when they other than other than Votto, when did they spend money on a free agent? Which Votto was drafted, but but that's not because they can't afford it. It's because they just don't want to pay it. I think it's because they can't afford it. I don't think that's. I think that's why you see some of your guys leave, just like Cleveland. No, they don't want to pay it. Uh, They're a multi-billion-dollar company. So so is Cleveland. Yeah, so so they can pay it if they want to. They just choose not to. Let me rephrase that. I don't think they're multi-billion-dollar companies. I thought like the multi-million the, dollar company. I thought they said the Reds was just over a billion dollars if you wanted to buy them. Now, and the pre- previous yeah, to Castellanos, that, that doesn't the mean Castellanos bought them for two hundred million. That doesn't mean that that's what's in their bank that they can spend. That's their liquidated assets. What the whole thing is worth. So they make billion. So how much money do they have? So they they would have to make what about a billion dollars a year in order to be worth a billion dollars? Correct. Um, that's how that works. I think also it takes an ah. effect on what you huh? have. They also talk about the assets of the business. Right, and, right. Everything. So if so. they were to sell it, then with all that property that they make, you're not going to go buy something for a billion dollars and they say, hey, this this company only brings in $500 million. You would be out of your ass. Well, they only paid $200 million. 20 years ago. Right. So they built it to a billion dollar I don't franchise. know why you're getting defensive. Jesus, I just told you my team shit with it too. <laughs> <laughs> it's Cleveland, can't, they can't afford people either. I don't think you, I don't think the Reds people and the Cleveland people don't pay because they don't have they they have the money but they don't want to. to. Tell me they can't I think they don't have. I think can, can, another twenty million dollar hitter. <clears throat> they ain't got to pay him two hundred million dollars that year. They pay him twenty million in a year. Right. What's Votto's contract cost a year? Uh, I think he's right around twenty million probably. And you guys have one other big name that you pay no, around roughly fifteen million. Who's it? What's his name? Oh, well, Suarez probably makes he probably makes somewhere close to that. And then you bring in Freddie, which you know he's going to command twenty or more. Cheap ass Ohio teams. It's, it's, I know for real. That's what, they that's make what D just or Dennis just. Said. Yeah, they make tons of tons of fucking money, but don't want to spend it. Nope. Um. So that's we really don't have a whole lot. We're just pumped that that baseball is coming. And with by Tuesday, ooh, <laughs> by Tuesday, I burped up that. And then and then Tootsie rolls. Yeah, but as far as what baseball's done is what we just said. What they're what they're bringing in next year. What they're bringing in next year. The um, Cincinnati the, Reds the, the cap team value is one point eight five one point zero eight five billion. I told you they're worth about a billion dollars. I'm not um, dumb. Um, <laughs> that uh, <laughs> oh, is it the arbitration money? Is that what I'm what I'm trying to say? Go Cardinals. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, for the the money. Yeah, two hundred and some million, million dollars or whatever. Yeah. yeah, that's what they put together. So, which was a big thing to get done too. An international draft. Um, yeah, the draft, which a yeah. lot of people say they're against it, wow. but I sort of like it. So you can. So why I why I think the players are so against it is because it allows some of these. Big market teams like the Yankees and stuff get the best international players because you're bringing them to the best team who can pay them the most money. They want an international draft, so some of these small market teams like Cleveland and them can have a chance to actually draft some of these star players. So, I mean, the Reds have gotten lucky over. They've got Rosselli Iglesias. They've gotten Aroles Chapman. You know, they've gotten some nice little Jonathan India. Um, no, we drafted him. That's what I'm saying. I thought that's what you were no, talking I'm about. No, I'm talking about international players oh, that we've signed okay. um, that didn't have to come through. Yeah, 
So we've gotten lucky on a few things. I remember back with, with my dude Turtle from U.S. Plastics when he was pissed off because he – or Bill was mad because the Reds signed a Rolius Chapman, and me and Turtle went nuts over it because he's an Indians fan and he wanted him. So um, I think everybody in the baseball world wanted him. So let's 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 go on. Was to it, the, who was the one guy for you guys? It was his name Nick Markakis, and he used to be a player for you guys. Mm-hmm. Nick Markakis, you know who I'm talking about? I know who you're talking about, but I thought he played for you guys. No, I thought he played for the Orioles. Might have, might have got it. Orioles, might have wrong. Ori- Stop. <laughs> yeah. So let's move on. We got another big thing that happened just before we set up this podcast, and Khalil Mack going to the Chargers. What do you guys think about that? How do you guys feel about that? Chargers think it's defense is going to be retarded. It's retarded. You they just teamed him up with defense. Bosa. Bosa on one side, Khalil Mack on the other side. Good fucking luck on that. I, get, I mean. Good luck. It's. Dude, that and what is, do you say is TJ Watt? You say defensive end. Yeah. I say he's listed as linebacker, but he's defensive end. Bosa, Khalil Mack. Is that not the best? Where do you put end, well, end, Yeah, but where Team up ends in, in the is, NFL? Is there anyone better? Cleo Mack is a lot better coming off the right side. They have to move him over to the left. I don't think they're pulling Bosa. I mean, you could switch him, but I think Bosa's better coming off the right. I don't think he ever plays off the left side. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I've never really watched Chargers games to know what side he's coming from. But well, all most I know of the is, premier defensive ends come from the right. Uh, I wouldn't say that. A lot of them come from the left. I mean, no, like, if you're, I'm, look, I'm talking about if I'm the quarterback. I'm looking at the defense here. You're, yeah, you're left always, end. You're always no, no. Left, you'd be on left. the right. Yeah, no. You'd all the coming, premiers come from the left, for the most part. Left ends are the most famous ones. Well, that's I mean, Miles guy. Garrett's a right end, but yeah, but like, T.J. Like, Watts a right <clears throat> end. Demarcus Lawrence was left. Is, no, he's a right end. Demarcus Lawrence is a right <clears throat> end. Like Reggie White was the left. Yeah, it's like I think if you look at it from this way, from their backs, that they're a left end. But if I'm I'm the quarterback staring at the field this way, he's over here on my right side. I know they say they protect their left side to left tackle. Right, which would be the blind. left end. But no, but that's not the premier left end. That's just their blind side because they're right-handed. Their back's always to that side. Just like a left-handed quarterback, the most important spot would be their right, right tackle. Right, no. So when the quarterback's looking at it left over here, that's the left end. That's the left end spot on defense. But anymore, it seems like they all come from the right side. Joey Bosa lines up well, on the right. Well, I think, I think they try because usually the right tackle is the weakest as right. far as going up against the left tackle. So it makes sense. Yeah. So that's why it seems like. We're, we're, so would where would would you put Khalil on this side, or would you put? Where I mean, where's he going to play? Does it fucking matter now? I mean, you it got can't Bosa coming off the left, and you got Khalil coming off the right. What does it matter? You got two premier pass rushers coming off the line on the ends. Good luck. Because I don't care if they're on left or right. They're going to be. You're, are you be telling hard, me yeah. you're going to stonewall Cleo Mack and Joey Bosa one on one? It's not going to happen. Some some of these ends they play that side because that's their best side. So you could I, sort of I stagger them see, a bit. I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. I don't know if they if it's the best or if it's because that's the scheme fit. That's it's the weakest part. It's the right tackle. Have you ever seen Bosa go over to the left and play off the left? I don't. I haven't. But I like I said, I've watched a lot of Chargers games. But he's, if he's effective from either side, what would it really matter? Exactly. That's my point. That's, right, what, I'm that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, yes. We if Cleo says, hey, I'm just better off the right, fine. Because Let's I fucking know, Bosa go left. I know a Bosa, he always came from, if you're looking at the defense from the back side or the others, he always come off off the right side. Yeah. He's always a been a right end. He's come from this side. Yeah. Right. So even in college, he played that. He very rarely I remember in college, he did, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just saying, I didn't know. I know it's going to work. I'm not saying it's not going to work. It's just... Who plays that side now? Do they just tell Bosa to go over here because Khalil Mack does a better job on this side? I I'm still saying. say, like, I think in, in Chicago he got a lot of double teams because who else other than Quinn? Quinn got all them sacks because Khalil was taking up probably a lot of double teams. Yeah, but see, well, yeah when Quinn played and for us, he played on that damn left side. Now. So he, like, fit perfect. But what I'm saying is now you've got two premier pass rushers coming at you on both ends. You're not going to be able to go one on one with all I get both of them. I, get I think it's going to make them nasty as hell. What I'm, what I'm actually, what, to be honest with you, and I need to, I need to pull this up real quick because we're talking about um, Cleo Mack and we're talking about Bosa <clears throat> and what they're going to be able to do coming off the end. This is, this is really what we need to be looking at because even if they're going to be doubling them or 
they're going to try to chip them, if they're going to try to slow them down, what I would do is be looking for somebody like, that's why I wanted to make sure I got his name. It's Drew Tranquil, the middle linebacker. Now he's got these two beasts taking up all that, that time with them. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make his life a whole lot easier. He can play the pass in the middle of the field. He can blitz as well. He's probably going to get a lot of one-on-ones or open holes because they're bringing a guy over to block for Bosa or Khalil. I think he's going to have a big year, to be quite honest with you. That's what I think. I think the middle linebacker benefits from this greatly. And I think people might overlook that, but you got to watch that. I bet the guy blows well, up. Well, the secondary is going to play it. Uh, the secondary, yeah, the, that too. They were a little weak at the secondary position. They're not no more. Because just two nope. premier ends makes your secondary better. Because the pressure is going to help them out tremendously. Yeah, you don't have to cover right? as You don't have now. as much time to throw that ball. Mm-hmm. Right. You don't have to cover as long. So, they so got, you can look for them to go out. You can look for Darwin James to have a huge year too. And that just that just just the just the presence of him affects that defense in so many different ways. <laughs> and I know Joey has. I'm pretty sure Joey's been struggling like his brother. The Bosa brothers seem to always struggle with injuries. <clears throat> so, yeah, you might lose Bosa maybe a game or two, but it, it doesn't matter. I know I know Joey struggled with injuries, but I don't think Nick struggled as much since he got to the NFL. He's I thought out. Joey I thought has, He's missed though. games his first two years. I know he missed games this year. He was hurt this year. Yeah. And I thought he was hurt his rookie year, I thought too. Joey was hurt, been hurt every year so far. Well, so was Bosa. He's only, <clears throat> Nick's only been in two years. He's been hurt both it's years. been two years. Yeah. I thought he was in three years. So, it's like, because two years ago, he won rookie of the year. Fucking J.J. Watt Jr.'s over there. They just, they get hurt. Freakishly athletic, yet can't stay healthy. I don't but, get it. We just want to touch on that a bit. I do want to touch on this. Um, we want to talk about the Lakers a little bit. Well, here. now hold on. Does that does does that does that change that division? Even getting Cleo Mack, does that change that division now? Because you got to remember, in I, that div, in that division, who's who's all in that division? That's that's what we just talked about. That's Denver. That's Chiefs, Chargers, Raiders. and Raiders. So then we were talking about with Russell Wilson going to Denver. And how big a deal that is for them. And we, we even said possible Super Bowl with them. And we know Chargers need some pieces, and they already got a solid offense. Now you went and got Cleo Mack. Does that change things out there? Because oh. you go get Russell Wilson now, we're going to go get some pressure. And well, that's, that's what, what they I just said. did. Well, so we said on Tuesday, I said that, you know, we're forgetting that Justin Herbert and Derek Carr aren't out there. Like we were just talking about them two teams, like these other two teams didn't exist. So, you know, that might be the best division in football now. I mean, I don't understand. I don't see how it can. How? I mean, they're top three between Denver, Chiefs, and Chargers. They're loaded. And the Raiders ain't even got to make a move yet. So, right. you know, they go out and get a big-name free agency, you know, receiver. Um, they fix some pieces on the on the defensive side. They're going to be... Well, like That's you said, a, even without that, they're already there competing. I'm glad that the, I'm glad the NFC East played them this past year. <laughs> I'm just going to say that much. I'm glad that that, you know, That's uh, a hell that of happened, a division. Okay, and there, we don't have to worry about that for another four years. So, I mean, have you? I, I can't recall the last time I've even seen one well, single division is, that is, loaded. This, this is the thing. Is Denver and the Chargers better than Chiefs? Denver has a defense. The Chargers just added a piece that should give I mean, them a defense. And has, both of the offenses, Denver upgrade, obviously. Their quarterback is better in Denver now. And the offense was not a problem in can and and Los I mean, Angeles. I know I think I think if you if you say yes, I know other fans will hear this and say, Well, you can't go against Patrick Mahomes. Now hold on a second. We're not. We're saying defense. Justin wise. Herbert is just as good. I mean, he's a good quarterback. And we know what Russell is. So can you put him up there with Mahomes? Absolutely, you can put that talk up there. Well, I'm saying, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm no. I'm not saying quarterback wise, he's better. He's better. I'm just all around team. Yeah, I think Chargers and Broncos are better. They're a better team. I think they are. We got to see what Kansas City does on the defensive side of the ball because I would hope that they that's that's their big thing is to try to fix their defense because it's been a problem for a couple years. That's why I said I didn't see how they can let that honey badger walk because they need him well, they're desperately. Not gonna, they're not going to let him walk. I'm, they just you only offered one franchise. So, I'm tagging my left tackle before I ever tag a safety. No, I I understand yeah. that. I'm saying, 
You got to make it a priority. Clear cap, something. Right, we well, certain, you got to get him. I think I think you can't lose Tyron Matthew. 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 Ah. I think they're trying, but when you have Tyreek Hill that needs money, you can't lose Tyreek Hill, period. <sighs> no. I, yeah, mean, I mean, can you, you go out and get another really good receiver, though, and save you some money? Because Tyreek's going to command a shit ton. But you can't. Could you? Not, like, of, could his, you, not could of you, his caliber. I'm not saying they do it this this season because they, Tyreek's still under contract, but you know, could they could they get a, an Amari Cooper and be just fine? No. Why? No. not He's just too dynamic. Cooper's not Tyreek Hill. I mean, Tyreek Hill is... Like saying, can you find and I hate and I say it this way, can you find another Ju- Justin Jefferson or can you find another Jamar Chase? It's really hard to come by at that age and that talented and does that much for your offense. You could find another receiver who's capable of making a Pro Bowl, but Tyreek is the motor that they get going. I got you. I understand. So I don't, I don't know who who's more important on offense, Tyreek Hill or Travis Kelsey. I think they both mean the same there. I don't. They're both a big part of Patrick Mahomes' success. And Travis is older. Oh, I'm not is that he old. Thirty. He's got. I don't know. I think he's thirty. I don't think so. I think he's thirty. Thirty or thirty-one. He come in in what? Two thousand fourteen, two thousand fifteen. But he played all four years. Uh yeah. He well, he had to play at least three. So he came at least twenty-one or twenty-two out of Cincinnati. I'm I'm pretty sure he's like thirty. He is he's 32. Oh, yeah, he's old. He's getting yeah, there. Born in 89. Um, That's pretty sure he played all four years. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I thought he did. Let me come you know where that man went to high school at? No, but I know he went to Cincinnati. Yeah, he went to Cincinnati University. Right down the road from where he lived, which was Cleveland Heights. Oh. I did not know he was a I Cleveland boy. I didn't know that either. Browns, trade for him. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I think them two teams at this point are better than yeah, they are, but still, it, and it's still the Chiefs. It's just it's just Patrick that Mahomes. division That's is just just I, arguably like literally sitting here thinking about the AFC North. Like we've had you know some pretty good teams in the North at one point. He's got all the comments, but um, I I don't I don't I can't recall another division that ever was this loaded ever that had this much going on to it. Like, this is a lot. I got it. Oh, Drew Ash said uh, Mari Cooper's going to go to Green Bay. Yeah. Drew, you got so much far fetches <laughs> for that Green Bay team and ain't got no money. No, 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 Jenny. We, we're going we're gonna to discuss the Lakers. Don't you worry about it. Oh, yeah. That. We're, we're coming. We're, worry about so, she said save me the pain of my suck-ass Lakers, but no, um, we're not going to have to save the pain. So, we have to. We feel that the Chargers with that step has sort of they might have team wise they might be the best team in, in the AFC West from offense. I mean, what to if defense? Denver go does what if Denver does get Vaughn back? Jesus. Yeah, I mean, wh- I mean what Jesus. what if what if the Chiefs are able to re-sign Matthew and then they go out and get another big piece? What, I mean, what if what if Cleveland cuts Jarvis Landry and the Chiefs pick him up? What? I mean, Cleveland's going to cut Jarvis Landry. But they have a sort of a slot receiver in what Tyreek does. Uh, Tyreek's their number one. Can you yeah, imagine Tyreek the there and put, put him in the slot and put Harbin on the outside? Who would want That ain't fair. I don't, I don't, that ain't think, fair. I don't think Jarvis fits there. Mm. He's too Jarvis slow. He's anywhere. declining. He doesn't catch the ball that well anymore. I had one bad year. Don't do that. He only had one bad year not catching. That man had never had a year like he just had ever. Yeah, but he's just not. One year. He's also one year older too. What is he like? Thirty three, thirty four now. No. Whoa. 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 Calm down. He was only twenty nine last year. I think he's thirty. I don't even think he turned thirty yet. Turns thirty this year, I believe. And he's not that old. I'm telling you, it was just Cleveland. Let him go somewhere else and watch. Watch him have a, re- a resurgence. I'm telling you, it's just Cleveland. Is he slow? Yeah, he's not that fast, but he still is a sure-handed catcher. I don't know what he did this year. He had an off year, but I'm telling you, I like Jarvis. I've always liked Jarvis. That dude has never had a bad year except for last year. He never even missed a game until last year. I can't say. I I think it's just Cleveland. I think he changed the scenery. He'll be just fine for a couple more years. I still think he's old. Well, He's been in the league since what? He can't. Did he come in right before? Michael, I'm telling you, he's like 30 years old. Because he came in before Odell. I know this because of Madden. 
<laughs> he might be 29, 30. I thought he was older than that. He's 29 years old. I was right. It's because Madden taught me that. Yeah, so, so he's young. Anyways, so what we want to do, we do want to move on because we got another, we got a nice little segment here of doing our um, NFC South teams. Um, we do want to talk about this Lakers squad. Oh, jeez. The Lakers. Jenny, here we go. We're going to talk about the Lakers. So we do want to talk about, you got it back now, John? We had to pull a comment. We didn't have no comments. I just caught on to that. Yeah, um, I wasn't talking to anybody. Everybody felt left out. Uh, oh, so we, we do want to talk about the Lakers. And John had to poop. Sorry. How, <laughs> how we want to talk about this is, first off, we want to say, if the Lakers are healthy, if they can get healthy within the next 17 to 18 games, can they or will they be a threat in the West? No. And I'm saying if everybody's healthy and back. I don't think so. And why I say that is they have too much drama going on right now. Too much distractions going on. That's the only reason why I say that. What do you think? I think if they're healthy, and I mean healthy, I, I, if AD is back and he plays every series um, – with the continuity, the continuity that they've built with these younger kids off the bench, um, because they've had to play a bunch of spotty minutes because of all the injuries, we all know who playoff LeBron is. That's a whole nother animal to mess with. That's not a fun guy to play in the playoffs. Um, we've seen what just him and Anthony Davis have done together. They won a title. Um, Anthony Davis would almost pretty much have fresh legs if he can stay healthy. He would have fresh legs. Um. We did see them get put out in the first round. It was LeBron's first time ever. Yeah, yeah. Um, they added Russell Westbrook. He played good last night for them. They got beat by the Rockets. Uh, I like Melo off the bench. I, I think, I'm not saying they're a threat for a title run, but I don't think they're an easy out for anybody, if healthy. That, that's my take on that. I got a question. We're talking about the Lakers. Oh, kind we're talking a, about the Lakers. Oh, kind, yeah. of, kind of a controversial thing do we think it's disrespectful what they called mr restbrook well people should already know what my take is i think it's extremely disrespectful <laughs> and i i only say it for the reason of they're, they're they're making it too personal they're taking the basketball game like i've always said calling someone overrated calling someone trash Saying someone sucks. That's what you hear at basketball games. Changing people's names. Taking their name out of context. Threatening people. Wishing harm. I shouldn't say threatening. Wishing harm. <clears throat> wishing harm on people's family. Strangers. These fans don't know these guys. And these guys don't know these fans. It's too much. I agree. And it's happening only in L.A. That's the problem that I don't... This it's gotten out of hand, um, and like what Russell Westbrook said, his kids take pride in his name. They walk. He said his son walks around saying, "I'm I'm a Westbrook. I'm a Westbrook." You know, I love it. His wife says she's it's taking a personal toll on her because she goes. She don't even like to go to games anymore because of the outlandish things that she hears that they're they're pushing towards her husband. But what I think people have to realize. These guys make millions of dollars to play the game of basketball. That doesn't mean you're you should be you should have to take unwanted um, threats, um, slander. Uh, it's 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 gotten out of hand, and th and then to for people to say these guys are soft. Well, they're soft. You can't be called what Russell Westbrook Westbrick is what they were calling him. It doesn't make you soft that you're offended by it, or you feel disrespected. How's that make you soft? I mean, I know people out there don't like to be called fat. That make you soft because you don't want to be called fat. Dennis wants to know why you're threatening him. <laughs> D. Um. There's just things about that that I don't like. Uh. It just it doesn't sit well with me when it comes to people doing that. If you do want to do it amongst your friends, the way you talk that way, you know, if you're in a group of people and you, you might, you know, we might say th mean things to each other, but in the long run, we know I, each other. We yeah. Do. We know each other. We know there's no disrespect. There's no. There's no offense towards it. Um, just 
bunch of friends. And we, and we still get mad at each other when we do it. We're like, hey, bro, don't do that. You know what I mean? But at the same time, we're still friends. These people don't know anybody. Like, you know, earlier in the season, someone wished that LeBron's kids would die in a car wreck. Bro, you're at a motherfucking game. You're lucky he wasn't. He didn't just turn in a Ron Artest and come up. He just had you removed from the game, and people said he was a pussy for that. Like, whoa. Like, come on, bro. There ain't no pussy, bro. That's taking that shit way too far. I think that's also because most people didn't even know what they said right away, so it's automatic just, oh, he got all butt hurt because they said something to him. Yeah, we find out. I mean, know what it was. That is what was yeah. said. Yeah, okay. yeah. And that's why people jumped on it right away. But then, of course, when the truth comes out and, and they say what he said, you don't hear a fucking peep from people. Then they're all like, well, he's still soft. Shut up. Shut up, man. I don't, I mean, I don't know how you guys feel on it. I don't, I, that's how I, that's truly how I feel. I don't find it, I don't find it acceptable. And at any sporting event, I don't care who it is. I it's don't find game. it accept, acceptable. It's a game. It's a they game. should be talking to people like that. Changing their names. West Brick. Like you, bro, you, you fans want to call him that, but yeah, you can't shoot as good as him. I can promise you that. If you try to, I've seen some of these people that want to talk that they can shoot. Well, he can't shoot. Bro, you can't shoot. Period. Now, you put another NBA star in front of you, you tell me if you get up a shot. Does NBA players have bad shots? Yes, every now and then. But the dude's still shooting either the second or third highest field goal percentage of his career at like 46%. And he shoots a high volume of shots. So, and to still hit him in almost a 50% clip? Like, that's... I think it's just too much. I think that they need to... They need to step back a little bit. You know, these fans, some of these fans are getting ridiculous. Some of the stuff they're saying, I would be upset. <clears throat> these, these, these basketball players are handling a lot better than I would if I tell you that. Yeah. Yeah, so if, if, it's, if it's okay to, to change people's names or to verbally abuse them in, in, in personal ways, um, threatening ways, uh, then these same people that say that's okay, most of them are against you throwing something onto the court. What's, what's the difference? I mean, physical and mental abuse is still abuse. That's still why they put abuse there. You know, a lot of people, you can heal from, from physical abuse for the most part. Mental abuse sometimes doesn't go away. And, and you know, and, and that's that's serious, dude. It's messing with someone's brain. Uh, there's, a, there's already enough mental awareness out there. But you can cause some serious deep, dark depressions. Like, like today, for instance, um, Ben Simmons is returning. 7.30 hits. You know, guys, I'll be out of here. Uh, big game tonight. Um, there's some things even on there where um, Ben Simmons is being – he's walking out of the stadium in Philly, and these people are personally attacking him with words, and he just walks by. He puts his head down and walks by. Like because So, so because the dude seemed different in an organization, do you think it's okay to call this dude some of the names that you're calling him? He is a basketball player, dude. Get out of here with that, man. Get out of here. They take it way too far to me. They're calling him a coward. They're calling him a bum, a bitch. They're calling him all kinds of stuff. Like one thing that I don't want, really like to be called, it's probably the same thing women don't like that C word throw with them. You know, the C-U-N-T word, they don't like that most women. I don't like being called a coward. Don't call me a coward because I'm going to give you, I give, I speak it honest for the most part. And I don't know how you guys feel about words being said your way. There's certain words that people don't like being said to them. And a coward's a big word for me. Do not call me that because I've never been a coward in my life. Don't call me a bitch. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, I don't know how you feel, Mooney. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about the Russell Westbrook? <laughs> Westbrook. No, I'm saying, I'm saying how they oh. call him that. Yeah. I'm saying, I'm asking how he feels about that. Uh, man. I don't like, uh, it doesn't matter sports or just life in general. Don't bring people's families into things. You don't threaten their kids. You don't. You don't hope their kid dies in a car. Just don't say shit like that. That's, that to me is that's the too far part. That's that's where you. That to me is personal. Like that's uncalled for. That's not even. That's not even sportsmanship or competitiveness or just being a fan. That's just an ignorant human being. And if anybody is caught at a game saying like the people that LeBron got kicked out. They should never be allowed back into a sports game ever again. That's my feeling on that. When you start to get personal like that, you should be ejected. With that being said, the, the West Brick doesn't really bother me. I, I, I understand what you're saying, and I heard you, and I, to a point, I, understand, I get it. 
I get it. But um, I I don't think it's so far out of the game as as what you what you feel. Um, I think he's not shooting well. I think the fans are frustrated. They start calling him Westbrook. I get how it affected him, but then at the same time, it's like, man, I mean, it's just a name just to fucking get at you, just to get under your skin, to mess with you as a fan, whatever. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to sit here and say it's wrong if you're against it or it's wrong if you're not against it. I just, to me personally, I don't, I don't well, find the the Westbrook is, a big deal. The thing is, is the fans didn't start this. <clears throat> I know the media did. No. I thought the media did. Charles Barkley did. Mm. Media. Media did. Charles Barkley's going to come out and call him Russell Westbrook. I mean, either way, is the fans picked up on it whenever I just... Oh, yeah, they picked up on it and ran with it. I don't I don't see it as, as, as harsh as you, but I do I do agree with the personal part. Of that That to me, is that's fucked up. You don't bring people's kids into it or wish harm upon a player or anything. That shit right there is uncalled for. That pisses me off. But, the, you know, the Westbrook thing... And I guess I, I guess I think back to, you know, there's only one player I can think of that really got harassed a lot was Reggie Miller. When Spike Lee used to sit on them sidelines when they played the Knicks and the shit they used to say to each other. But, of course, Reggie gave it back to him. But the right. stuff, you know, walking out there and, and, the, and the Pacers losing the game and Reggie doing or Spike Lee doing the choking thing in his face, like, I mean, and that's partly why they don't let them on that close on the sidelines anymore, like, because that shit. Well, there's there's certain people that doesn't doesn't affect as much, right? But I get that. I get that. Where it just that's what that I said sort of the beginning. It's it's like we don't change my last name. Lots of people call me Mike Ass or Mike Ass Ashhole or Mike Trash or you know Mike Ashtray. That shit that shit bothers me. Don't change my last name, dude. My last name is my last name for a reason. I don't disrespect your name hey. whatsoever. So don't do it to me. He said, "Holy shit, I agree with Mooney." Oh, wow. Well, I mean, Somebody I mean, agree with me. There's a lot of people that agree with it. I'm a fan. Good. There's a lot of people that don't see a problem with it. No, and that's, that's why what I'm saying. It's such a touchy yeah, subject. It is. It and, is. And to, well, my problem is, is it's not that it's that big of a deal to the most of the world, but to Westbrook, it is a big right. deal. I get so that. respect the way the motherfucker feels about it. But the problem, what okay, what I think, and I did read this in a group chat, and I agreed with Brent. The fact he came out and said it, you're gonna make it worse on yourself now. And I Why? get because, that because he's allowed. You shouldn't make it. That that's how that's, coward, what, that's, that's, what's that's what, to be. me what a coward is. Because he comes out and says, "This is how I feel." Don't do it. Doesn't mean you attack him more. That's like me coming out. That's why. If I came out and said that I struggle with mental health or I struggle with something or something, and then someone wants to come in and attack me because they know I struggle with it, bro, you're a coward for doing so. You want to attack my weakness for no reason? I have no idea who you are. I agree. I agree. I agree with you on that here, point. Yeah. I do. I'm not going against you on that. But it is the truth. It is the world we live in. Because of that, they're going to attack that weakness. Now they're going to make it worse. They're losers. And it's and to me that is shitty. I I didn't find anything wrong with it as far as the Westbrook thing. I get it and I understand how it can bother him. And I know how he said it bothered him. But the fact he came out and spoke it to the world and the way the fans are, yeah, I think they're going to make it worse. And yes, I agree with you. That's kind of bullshit. Like, dude, you already, you already let you know it's bothering. Just back off. Yeah, back off. But. Of it's you know that's, I mean? that to them is the sportsman. That's what. Oh no, we're gonna get in his head now. Like, and the, the really fucked up part is his own fans that are doing it to him. No, it's not. It's not. It was Lakers at a home game that I heard they were chanting it as well because he kept missing. So it wasn't just the uh, pop opposite people. It was actually no. no Lakers I'm saying fans. I, don't, I don't know how much. I wasn't saying you're wrong on that. I'm not. I don't know how much the Lakers fans would. Well, I don't think it was the whole stadium, but they said they heard it coming from the stands, and it was. Oh, it's a, a lot, lot of Lakers. There are fans. like a lot of Laker fans that are frustrated with the <laughs> Lakers, and rightfully so. You're allowed to be. Your team is sucking right now. Mo every every diehard fan gets really pissed off when their team sucks, and you want changes. But just because you want changes, don't mean you verbally abuse somebody. It don't mean you attack them personally. <laughs> right. It doesn't mean any of that. All it means is you just demand tra changes. If Westbrook is the problem, they feel he's the problem, which I don't understand why they keep feeling this dude is the problem. The problem is injuries in L.A. If Anthony Davis has played the whole season, the Lakers are not nine games below five hundred. They're they're probably sitting right around somewhere between the four and the five seed because I don't think they're better than the Suns. I don't think they're better than the the um. Grizzlies or even the Warriors, but they're sitting right there, right with the Mavericks and teams like that. Uh, but I, we just, I just really want to touch on that. We got one more thing we need to get into because it takes us a minute. And just like I said tonight, seven thirty, probably seven forty. Nets Sixers. 
Realize it's seven twenty right now. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. We got ten. We got about ten minutes on there. <laughs> so we want to get into the NFC South real quick. We're um, not going to get through this. We will. Yeah, we will. Watch it. <laughs> Watch it. Watch okay. It. Yeah, All right. Got, the game won't tip off to about seven forty. So we got about twenty. <laughs> um. Anyways, we want to do. We want. He's retarded. <laughs> we're doing the NFC. We're, we're doing the NFC South tonight. Mm -hmm. So, we like once we said, we've done the NFC West already, and we've done the AFC West, which is coincidence. That's wild. So I guess we're gonna do the. Hmm. So I guess we'll do a South. So and South AFC next. South. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna go to the AFC South, and we're gonna start off <laughs> with the Bucks. Now we all know what happened with the Bucks this year. Tom Brady gone. Gronkowski gone, lots and lots and lots of Keep it up. Keep it up. Um, free agencies that they might not be able to sign. Uh, but what's your guys' – Mooney, we'll start with you first since it's locked in your mm -hmm. head. What do you think they need to do? Jimmy Garoppolo. Jim, what, so so you think their biggest weakness is quarterback? Oh, definitely. Okay. Tom Brady left. They yeah, they need they got a void to fill, and it ain't James Winston. It's got to be Garoppolo. All right. All right. A winner. I think, I think it's quarterback also. They got to win. I think it's quarterback. All right. Who are you going with? I would probably go with Garoppolo if they couldn't go after uh, Deshaun Watson. I, 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 Watson, I got a place for Watson. That's why I didn't say Watson. Yeah, and, and I think I still think Jimmy goes to Pittsburgh. I'm still stuck on that. Um, but it's funny you that that's where you went and I. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. In yeah. the season. <laughs> um, in the weird? season. Yeah. I think it's quarterback also, and I have them. <clears throat> Because I don't, I, I think they have some, some offensive line pieces to sign and some defensive pieces they're going to have to bring back. So I think they're not going to have a whole lot of money for the quarterback position. Hey, Drew said, um, shout again for Mike Ash, 45th birthday today. 45th. Okay. I got you. I got you tomorrow, Drew. You're not watching Batman with us. You're, you're now canceled out of the group. Um, you don't think they're going to, like, quarterback is priority? Where they're going to yes, spend it's money? It's a priority. But I think there's a beautiful, there's a beautiful fit for them. Marcus Mariota. I think he's going to come relatively cheapish, eight to ten million a year. I think go Marcus Mariota. Do you think Marcus Mariota can get them to a Super Bowl? No, we're not talking about Super Bowl well, at this point. We're are. just talking about getting a quarterback they, in there. I think they want a Super Bowl. Um, if they, if if, if you think you're winning a Super Bowl with any fran, any free agent quarterback out there right now. You might as well just go to the draft and rebuild. Ooh, Garoppolo's gotten there. He's gotten there. Into the NFC Championship game. Has he won one? Oh, but he okay, can get so you he's there. not going to do and that. He can win. He could. He did get him a Super he could. Bowl. But he says, do you think Marcus Mariota can win them a Super Bowl? That was his question. Do you the think Marcus Jimmy can get them to a Super Bowl? I don't know. I mean, I think if they fix some pieces, I think they'll Has be he ever? Fine. Huh? Has he ever? Has he ever take Tennessee further than the AFC Championship game? No, but he, he also... get the AFC Championship game with him. But he also played for a bad... Tennessee team, where who they thought Ryan Tannehill was a better answer. How far has he got him? I mean, Garoppolo can at least get you there, and they could possibly. Did play. Garoppolo get him there, or did their defense and run game get him there, or did he help? I don't. I don't think he helped at all. I think he helped. Where at? Understand. Well, you think I know. That, I know the fine. year they went to the Super Bowl. Mozart didn't he have like a two hundred and sixty yard rushing game against the Green Bay Packers? No, well, Garoppolo don't lose that much. He don't lose that much in the regular season, but he seems to lose in the playoffs. Defense lets him down. <laughs> or four interceptions <laughs> lets him down, too. Uh, yeah. You play mad. It's not always the quarterback's fault. I just think even <laughs> even if you add Jimmy Garoppolo, who has been spoiled by really good defenses in his time, and San Fran, they have to fix the defense in, in Tampa Bay also. I mean, Carlton Davis is their best corner, and he's a free agent. I still think Jimmy G is a better quarterback than Mariota. I didn't. I didn't say. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know how. I, I don't know whether to do that or not. We've seen Marcus sit for two years. I don't agree with why they 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 went for Tannehill and got rid of him. He wasn't playing bad. He came off a ten win season. He came off a ten win season and was benched. I mean, well, I'm, it's funny they got Mariota out of town. Got Ryan Tannehill. Then started running. Derek heard me more. <laughs> yeah. Started running who? Derek Henry. That's not what you said at first. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah he, he, you know, you, you were like had spit. Yeah, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. he, who? What? But they also did <laughs> have. They had the market. They had DeMarco Murray though. For when, that one when, year, when Marcus was their quarterback, and he, too. And he didn't even do good. No, 
bad. Okay, um, what's next team? All right. So we want to move you on. You moving it along? Yeah, we moved out along. We all agree it's a quarterback. We ain't uh, going to agree on which gonna, one. But <laughs> we gotta. I mean, we might hear this a lot. We have the Saints next. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> um. We'll go with you first. I, I'm going to go quarterback, but I think they Hold on. re-signed James Winston. Okay. What do you think? Every, every position. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, uh, it's, it's quarterback, but I, yeah, quarterback. I think quarterback, too. Yeah. Draft. I think they, I think they re, re-signed James Winston. I think it's draft. They're rebuilding. Might as well go get in that young guy. So I think what the, I got Taysom Hill. Go get a young guy. There you go. I mean, that works. I mean, they need lots of help everywhere. But it sounds like they're going after uh, Tyron Mathieu. And even though they're, they're star safety, they don't want to re-sign that Marcus, uh, Marcus Williams. Williams. I mean, if you're if you're Tyron Mathieu, like, are you really considering going there? I mean, they, if you want to win a Super Bowl, that is not the place to go. They are in a total rebuild. It's going to be a couple of years before uh, they even get they somewhere. Though? They weren't that bad of a team. But they're in a when Winston, in cap crisis, though. But they were the year. Right. Well, the, thing is, the crazy pieces. thing is, is this year they're $72 million. Last year when they made all these signs, signed um, Michael Thomas to his big extension, they were $64 million over the cap. So they obviously know how to get back under the cap. Uh, it's just, will this time cost them too many pieces? And Alvin Kamara is the big part. We don't know if he's even going to get to play this year. And that should be working in the favor of Calvin Ridley. Because Calvin's out for the year, and there's video footage of this dude beating the hell out of an innocent person in mm-hmm. an elevator. So, who? Alvin Remember Kamara. Alvin Kamara? Oh, yeah. 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 So how how what's his suspension look like? Okay. Well, we all talked about this the last one. Seems like those type ones don't get punished very long. So. That's true. Right. Well, that, I'm, that's it's what true. I'm saying though. Calvin should have and that should weigh heavily on his appeal because he's going to appeal this suspension. So that should favor him if you're out there beating up random people and women. I mean, you only get six games. I betted. Uh, I did a parlay. We'll just say it was FanDuel for fifteen hundred bucks and lose ten million. And I, I, I have the possibility of losing ten million dollars because I made a parlay and I wasn't even on the roster. I was off your roster. I took a, a, a leave of absence from the NFL, so he didn't even do it when he was a part of the roster. Because at that time he was gone. So bad on mental health issues. Yeah. Time. Gambling problems. Seems sounds be, like, no, I don't, right. don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Don't do that. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Um, we're sorry. So Calvin. we're sorry, Calvin. I really like you as a receiver. And I thought for sure they were going to trade Kareem Hunt and send thought you, you to, were going to Cleveland, bud. Don't um, want you now. Still saying it. If he only gets I mean, suspended four games. Bro, yeah. No, I want it. <laughs> yeah. he, he could be yeah. on his way to Cleveland. Yeah, that's fine with me. Um, so we, so we, we have the Panthers. You guys got re-signed Winston. I'm drafting. Okay. So we have the Panthers. <laughs> this is like the worst division in football. Yeah. It's got to be. It's it's probably going to be the worst division Christ. in football. I don't think that. I think their quarterback's fine. <sighs> I think, what? I think they can Sam Darnold. Him. Are you kidding me? Yeah. And Cam Newton, if he even resigns, they start, and they're talking about resigning. Oh my god! What else is out there? What else is out there? Fucking. There's no nothing. Trubisky? Blake Bortles. <laughs> I'm, okay, taking Nick him. Nick I'm taking him. I'm taking him. I'm taking Nick Foles over that shit. Possibly Taylor Fucking Heineke. Sam Darnold. Uh, who was the Who was the rookie? Danucci looked better than Darnold. No, he did. Was Don't bad. you go there, dude. Danucci bad. bad. Darnold's not that bad. <laughs> he's that no, bad. Danucci is Danucci that bad. is horrible. But I don't even know how he Darnold. played high school football. Uh, I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> he got in the league. I think they need some help in the secondary. Yeah, well, can they? They could. Are they going to re-sign Gilmore? That's you guys don't have him re-signing Gilmore. I think you guys. Have no, Gilmore. he was going off to. Uh, you, guys got, you guys going into got him going to San. <laughs> I thought it was you the have Chiefs. him going to San Fran. San Fran. Oh yeah. And I think he's got him going to the Chiefs. He's got him going to the Chiefs. Yeah. So you have him going to the Niners. You have him going to the Chiefs. Um, I, I say O line is their biggest flaw. I, I'm a, I'm going to agree with him and say they stick with Sam Darnold. They're going to draft a quarterback. I think that ultimately we're not compete. asking what you think they're going to do. We're asking what you think they need to yeah, do. Yeah, I don't. Th- that's what I'm saying. saying. Contradict yourself. Yeah. No. I'm saying their quarterback isn't their biggest need. It's their offensive line. Okay. That's what I think. Okay. And I have them signing Trent Brown. Mm. Left tackle. I think they mm. fixed that left tackle side. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's. Because I'm pretty thing. sure they, what I read today, they said that they had the worst offensive line in all of football. I think they need to resign that. Stephon Gilmore. They need to keep him. They should try to, but you can't say that. If not, if you not, you know, else. they could go. Hey, 
Hayward, possibly you got DJ Reed. You got, you got so what do you think? What do you think they go? You gotta go secondary, and you... I, I think they need to do defense needs a little bit of help. And, and and I agree too. The offensive line need to help protect Sam Darnold to give him more protection. I think he does. I don't think so. I think Donald's trash. I'm going to go quarterback. And I'm going to go a guy who literally is going to – he's been shit on, and he's a really good quarterback. He's been kicked around. Bridgewater. No. Oh. Tyrod Taylor would fit with Carolina. And That's I, like I another think, Cam Newton. Uh, I think he's more accurate. I mean, he's, better, he's, he's better, better throwing. He, I think he's better. He's a better option than Darnold. Yeah. Um. He's serviceable. He's a bridge. He's a bridge guy. So you think they're going to sign him and then still draft a quarterback? Well, yeah, because I think you can get Tyrod for cheap. Start him. Let your guy sit. You know, if Tyrod takes off for a year or two, let him go. If I'm drafting a quarterback, he's starting the first year. Yeah, I don't. I'm not really one of those but people that believes well, that. I'm. I'm not. I'm not against that, John. But it doesn't seem like these quarterbacks have that ability. And, and the in reason why I say that. The reason why I say that. I would not want my my quarterback coming in. Sitting under guys like Donald or sitting under guys like I'm not a good Tyrod Taylor to have him sit under Tyrod Taylor. I mean, Tyrod Taylor is a good quarterback. He just got shit well, end of, that, the, of his I deals. That. I guess that's yeah, everybody's got their I mean, opinion. You know? So he goes, he goes from I mean, Buffalo. I, he he well, goes from Buffalo to the could, first he, playoff. He still could learn from Tyrod Taylor. He's been in the league like 11, 12 I mean, there's years. Potential yeah. learn, but if I'm gonna have him sit behind somebody, my first round draft pick, I'm gonna have him sit behind somebody. You know, if it's someone like Aaron Rodgers or Peyton Manning or Tom Brady, okay, fine. Those guys know the, See, the game. Here's why I disagree with that because follow me for a second here. There are guys who are really smart and know football, but they're not that good on the field. So it goes back to me and him talking before about teaching golf. There are guys who teach golf and they're fucking phenomenal teachers, but they can't golf worth shit. And he can vouch to this. Like it just happens. Like you know the game. Tyrod, I think, I feel his IQ is really good. He's just gotten a shit end of the deal. I mean, he did he lose kicked it. from he team to team. It. He did lose his starting job. Ultimately, Herbert took his start because the trainer accidentally punctured his lung. So, and he was the so starter Herbert, in Cleveland after we drafted Baker until he went down with an injury, and then we lost him for yeah, the year. And that's had, the only reason Baker started. I wouldn't want him learning under Sam Sam Darnold. No, I'll tell you that God, much. I don't no, want him. I would no. not want him learning under him because he no. hasn't even learned the game. That's the thing. I don't think Ty Rod. I think has learned it. Is it is it the best to teach a young quarterback? Tyrod's probably not the best person you want to do it, but that's they all learn from a QB coach somewhere. So, and some of your QB coaches just weren't good enough to play the NFL. Right, but not good enough to teach you. They yeah. can teach you. There's how to a play lot the of game. quarterback coaches that were like Byron Leftwich, not a great quarterback. He was okay, but he can teach the fucking game. That's why he's so good at what yeah, he does. Something they lack, like Kellen Moore. Kellen Moore's a great offensive coordinator. They said he's a good coach. Yeah, wasn't a good quarterback, but he lacked certain things like arm strength, and mm -hmm. and arm strength isn't teachable. It's no. It's given to you're you. You're either that. you can either throw a football really far or you can't. They can right. give you some mechanics to maybe add a few more yards, but you know what but I mean. But I do understand what you're saying. You want them, you know, watch the field of play. Watch the only how thing these is, guys the only play. Thing I, you could see. I agree what with you if like. they're if they're great quarterbacks. Right. But none of these. None of these. Oh, I'm saying start. And, oh, out of the draft. Yeah, yeah. Right out. Yeah. None of these quarterbacks coming out of college this year right. are great quarterbacks. Right. Do you say what about Fitz Magic? I think his career's yeah, over, man. I think man. he's done. I think he's done. I think he might. I think he might ultimately. Didn't he already retire? No, he never announced it. I haven't seen he hasn't announced it. He just, I thought he said towards the end of the year that when before it was over, he said this was the end. He didn't think he was coming back. I don't remember because he was still talks. struggling. He was still struggling with the my um, head injury. Um, I thought that's what he said. I could be wrong. I could see him that. moving on you to know, being if a coach. That dude played a consistent high level as what he would had that he did play in a couple games. That dude would have been phenomenal. Killed him. That's why I was telling him. Yeah. It yeah. killed him. Yeah. Um, that's where I told him he doesn't believe he doesn't agree with me. But that's what I said. Tyler Heineke is Tyler Heineke. Taylor Taylor Heineke is Ryan Fitzpatrick. He's a really good quarterback. He just there's things that he lacks that's not going to allow him to be consistent enough to be a starter. And Ryan Fitzpatrick has the same thing. He has He's all the had abilities. Lights out games. That's like wow. You thought that was Tom Brady or Peyton Manning out there, and then he just couldn't sustain it. Yeah. Boom! Next week he just throw four picks. It's like five picks. Yep. I'm like, what the hell? Dude? Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like I don't understand why why you do that. So, you who you have them taking? Panthers. You have. Oh, he said secondary. they need to resign Stephon Gilmore. Is what yeah. he said. Okay. Damn it, dude! It's so hard to write that down again. You already have Gilmore in. Uh -uh. He's gone. Yeah, you do. You have him on the Chiefs. 
No, I have J.C. Jackson, I thought. No, no. you picked Stephon Gilmore. Picked Stephon, oh, Stephon so J.C. Jackson, I, I thought. That's why I was going to go J.C. Jackson. No, yeah. He put, you put Gilmore on the Niners. Oh. You put, he put J.C. Jackson on the Chiefs. You put Gilmore on the Chiefs. I'm on Casey Hayward. So he can. I, okay. Can't double pick. <laughs> <laughs> They can't be in two games at one time. All right, that's true. It'd be awesome if you could. It would be. Who you got, Mooney? Told you, Tyrod Taylor. Yeah, duh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> duh. Come on. Expert analysis over here. Okay, last team. What is it? So, Ooh, last right? team mm-hmm. is the Falcons. This is a dumpster fire of a division. <laughs> For real. Holy shit. <sighs> oh, that's a tough one. Because you know Matt Ryan's staying there. So who'd you, Mooney, you put, who'd you put in the Saints? Draft quarterback. Draft. Hmm. Bucks. I said Mariota, you said Garoppolo, right? For who? The Bucks. Yeah. I said Garoppolo. I said Garoppolo. Garoppolo. You both said Garoppolo. Okay. No, so Atlanta. you said re-sign Winston. You both said no, re-sign Winston. That was for, that the, was for Saints. the Saints. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Atlanta. I have Atlanta. I, I I think running back's their biggest weakness, and I have them re signing Patrick Patterson. Patrick. Patrick Patterson, yes. Or Cordell Patterson. Why did I say? I kept wanting to say Patrick Peterson. Cordell Patterson. I don't know what you want, man. Yeah. I'll agree with that. There's really no other running back out there. That's you know free agent that's gonna be worth a damn for them. I mean, you could I I debated on Fournette, um, just because I think he's going to be a good back for somebody. I I look for I mean I think there's a chance Tampa tries to still resign him because they I mean they they have no back he's gone they have no back now so I look for I could look for Tampa to resign him, which I could see that happening. I mean, just because um, they didn't get him re-signed before franchise tag or whatever doesn't mean they won't get him re-signed before. Right, yeah, they still can negotiate. Yeah. A lot of these people that didn't get franchised, they're letting them test the water to see what their market is. And it's smart. It's, it, can, it can bite you in the ass, but for the most part, you don't want to overprice yourself out if someone wasn't even going to offer him that kind of money. So uh, Falcons got $4 million in cap space, So and they've got a lot of guys in free agency right now. They lost a lot of pieces. Um, I don't know how they're going to clear cap. They obviously got a clear cap to to get some pieces. I think Atlanta's about to hit another rebuild as well because um, of cap. Ryan's, what, like 37 years old? He's old, yeah. So I see them drafting. I see them drafting defensive line. It could be an end or a D tackle. Either way, they're going to need line. One of their biggest losses was Dante Fowler Jr., their defensive end, and that well, they can't afford to resign him. So there's potential they draft a quarterback too, knowing Matt Ryan's at his end. I think maybe in like the second or third round. I think in their first round, there's not really a big quarterback to really replace Ryan in this draft. So I this think they go draft defense. Class of quarterbacks is not very no, impressive, but their defensive line is really good. So that's why I think they go grab a premier star defensive player. On the line, it and then maybe su- next year go for a quarterback. It would not surprise me if an offensive lineman wasn't the number one overall pick this year. That's possible. I think he's going to be. We've it's seen it gonna, before. I think it's going to be either Neil from Alabama, or it's going to be a defensive end, and it's going to be Aiden Hutchinson. I'm going to call it right now. I think this is Ryan's last year. I think he's done after this oh, year. I think, I think he I walks think he, away. I think he could be right on to something like that. I think I don't know if he walks away, but this will be his last year in Atlanta, I think. I think it's his last year, period. But now they just took all his receivers away. Right. I mean, Russell Gage, Russell Gage better, is they got to hope to resign. No, he's a free agent. Oh, that's right. He's a free agent, yeah. too. That's right. I so forgot. they got to hope that's to be saw. able to resign him. Only thing he's got is Kyle Pitts because he's on a rookie contract. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus so, Christ. Anyways, uh, that, that that sums up our NFC South. Um, once again, we have Atlanta, Patterson, and draft a D-line. Good go, good go. Saints, we all agreed that it's quarterback. Me and John said re-sign Winston. Mooney says draft a quarterback. We have the Panthers. John said Casey Hayward. I said Trent Brown. Mooney said Tyrod Taylor. Um, and then with the Bucks, we all agreed quarterback again. John and Mooney both said Jimmy Garoppolo. I say Marcus Mariota. So um, that pretty much um, – Thumbs up. Oh, it was somebody's birthday again oh, today. Shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Happy birthday to me, I guess. Um, that's going to sum it up, guys. Uh, we didn't do stud or dud. Um, 
We want to try to. I want to get that back on Tuesdays. It just gives you. It gives you. It gives us a full week from the beginning of a week. So, uh, just remember, guys, we are going to go down to one show a week here in the next thirty to sixty days. Um, during the summer, it might even go one every, one show every two weeks because uh, it is hard to find topics. Um, so we're not we're not real huge on radio, so it's it's going to be there for us. But anyways, I'm Mike Ash. I'm Jake. Big country. And that's it for this Thursday evening. Woo! Yeah! I'll see you started working on my post.